Okay, I'm going to be talking about the difference between terminating decimals and repeating decimals. Now, terminating decimals, I used a happy pink color here because to do the opposite of what the Terminator often represents in the movies. The Terminator is bad and he actually ends up ending people's lives. Well, just like the Terminator, terminating decimals end. So let's talk about some of our common terminating decimals that we know of. One half, to make one half into a decimal. This is a review of our fraction decimal and percent video somewhat, but one half is means one divided by two, or 1.0 divided by two. We pop up our decimal. Two goes into ten five times, nice and even. Two times five is ten. There is no remainder. One half equals five tenths. I'll box my work there. Let's try another one. One fourth. Let's make that into a decimal and you'll see that this also terminates. One fourth is one divided by four or 1.0 divided by four. We pop up the decimal. Four goes into ten twice. Two times four is eight. Ten minus eight is two. To get rid of our remainder we can add another place holding zero because 1.0 is the same as 1.00. Remember we can add an infinite number of zeros to the right of the decimal place without changing the number's value. Drop that down. 4 goes into 20 five times. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. So we have 0.25. That is also a terminating decimal. We're going to box that. Terminating. Now let's talk about some of our repeating decimals. Let's look at a repeating decimal. We'll start with a very one of the most simple repeating decimals, and that is one third. One third can be converted to a decimal by doing one divided by three. And if you're allowed to use your calculator, you can just break out a calculator to do this faster, but this is easy enough to do on our own. We will do some harder ones with a calculator in a minute. A one third is one divided by three. I make it into a 1.0 divided by three. Put a caret above my zero. Three goes into 10 three times. Three times three is nine. 10 minus nine is one. At a place holding zero. Three goes into, oh, look at this, we have a 10 again. Three goes into 10 three times. Three times three is nine. 10 minus 9 is 1. As I said, we can add an infinite number of zero placeholding zeros to the right of the decimal without changing its value. Drop down that 0. 3 goes into 10 three times. And as you can see, this pattern is going to repeat for infinity. So this is a repeating decimal. And you have two options, uh, depending on how you are to round it. You could round it. I like to always round to the hundredths place as if it's money, and I would just round that to 33 hundredths because the three in the thousandths place would tell the three in the hundredths place to stay the same. We could put a repeating bar. This is called a repeating bar over the first decimal place to show that that three is going to repeat. Or you could put a repeating bar over two or three threes. Whenever you use a repeating bar, whatever is covered by the repeating bar will continue to repeat for infinity. So that's one example. Start up another, some more examples in a, in a moment. Okay, let's go over another example. Another example would be two thirds. We're going to make two thirds into a decimal and we'll find out if it's repeating or terminating. Remember, terminating ends. One half converts to 0.5 or 5 tenths. It ends abruptly at 5. A quarter, one fourth, is 0.25. So now let's make two 
thirds into a decimal. Two thirds is 2.0 divided by 3. Pop up our decimal. 3 can't divide into 2, so we put a caret above the 0. 3 does divide into 20. Okay, 3 divides into 20 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. Well, we want to try to get rid of our remainder. When we're dividing decimals, we can try to get rid of our, rid of our remainder by adding an additional placeholding zero. Bring it down. Three goes into 20 again, six times. Three times six is 18. 20 minus 18 is two. Let's continue to try to get rid of our remainder. Another zero, three goes into 20, six times again. And one more time for fun. I apologize, made a mistake there. 20 minus 18 is 2. Add another placeholding 0. And we could just go on for infinity. We have another 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Remainder of 2. So we have no choice but to round this. So 2 thirds, we could either, if I were rounding this to the hundredths, we would round it to 67 hundredths because the six tells the six, the six in the thousandths place tells the six in the hundredths place to round up to a seven. Remember, if the place to the right of the place you're rounding is five or greater, you would round up. So we could round it to 67 hundredths. We could round it to, we could, I'm sorry, we could put a repeating bar over the six in the tenths place and so on and so forth, but that would round to 67 hundredths or it would be a repeating six. That is a repeating decimal. Now let's look at there are lots of other examples of repeating decimals, some that are quite interesting if you actually take the time to look at them and play around your calculator. Let's jump ahead to the next repeating decimals. There are no repeating decimals with the fourths or the fifths. There are repeating decimals in the sixths, but I found the sevenths to be uh, rather interesting. Let's look at one seventh, and we're not going to work this out, but one seventh actually converts to this decimal. And let's see if it's repeating. We have one, four, two, eight, five, seven, one, four. Oh, there goes my video. One, four, two, Eight, five, seven. As you saw for flash there, I'm a Celtics fan. Now, if we do two sevenths, it comes out a little different. But we're going to see the same numbers. Two sevenths is 0 0.285714285 seven. So what is repeating here? It's not just long random decimals. We actually see the 142857 repeat, and then the 142857 repeat again. And if we were to divide it out farther for infinity, you would have that same group of numbers. But look at this. The same numbers, but just starting in a different place. We have 142857 there, but it starts with the 2. 285714. 285714, if we were to keep dividing out. But it's the same rotation of numbers, just starting in a different place. See, 142857, 142857. Look at this glaring mistake that I didn't notice. I should have written two sevenths. You've probably been laughing at me as you watch this video. So let's jump to three sevenths. And that's a little bit different. Three sevenths is, starts with the four. It starts with a four. It goes four, two, eight, five, seven, one, four, two, eight, five, seven, one. And we continue doing the same pattern for infinity. Very interesting though. Um, you can find lots of neat math patterns like that if you're playing around with your calculator anytime. So, in review, terminating decimals end. 
they end. We'll start with three fourths equals to seventy five hundredths. It ends. This cannot divide out farther than that. And repeating decimals, they repeat. They have a repeating pattern. One third is that three 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 will go on forever. Now I let's go back to here before we end. I did I just underline what was repeating, but if I were to rewrite this and I wanted to show exactly what was repeating, I would have to put a repeating bar over the first one four two eight five seven to show that that is what would repeat. If I were to show the repeating bar for two sevens, I would have to put the repeating bar over the two eight five seven one four. If I were to show three sevenths as a repeating decimal, I'd have to put the repeating bar over four two eight five seven one. So that is repeating and terminating decimals.